In the introductory scene of the movie, a character named Nami is introduced. When the alarm goes off, she awakens from her slumber. Throughout the day, Nami incessantly utilizes her mobile device, be it during her time at the office, during conversations with others, or even during social gatherings like party. Her mobile phone is constantly in her grasp. After the party concludes, Nami boards a bus to return home in the evening. Unaware, she dozes off and her mobile phone slips from her possession. And when she wakes up, she does not take care of her mobile. Without the mobile, she comes to her house. A boy finds that mobile. Then the next day, Nami was sleeping in her house, where her friend comes and wakes her up. And then Nami thinks that her mobile is missing, so she starts looking for it. But when the mobile is not found, she calls her number and a woman picks up the phone. Actually, the boy who had the phone was talking to her through his mom's recording. It means his mom was speaking and he was making Nami hear her voice. The lady tells her, Yes, your mobile is with me. Hearing this, Nami calls him to a hotel, where he agrees. That boy then starts checking her mobile, but because of the password, he cannot open it. Because of this, the boy gets angry and breaks the screen of the mobile. On the other hand, a girl's corpse is found in the jungle, who was in a terrible condition because she was killed brutally. An officer was watching this case who tells his companion that he suspects his son, June of this murder, who has been missing for the past seven years. June is no one else, but the same boy who found Nami's mobile. So in this case, this officer has figured out many things. So his companion says that you just have a doubt. But to catch him, we will have to collect evidence. There Nami comes to her dad's hotel and meets him. She finds out that my dad also has an Instagram account. So she is very happy to know this. Now Nami gets a call from the same woman who had her mobile. She says that by mistake your mobile screen is broken. I have sent it to a mobile shop to fix it. I have also given money. So you can go to that shop and take your mobile. After a while, Nami goes to that shop to take her mobile. Where she also sees June who was wearing a mask. He also finds out her password in the details of Nami's mobile. And then while fixing her mobile, he also puts hacking software in it, and makes a duplicate phone of her mobile and gives it to Nami. She then leaves from there. Now what Nami was doing on her mobile, June was also seeing it, because he had made Nami's mobile in his control, and he could also run it. She talks to someone on her calls and messages, even he was keeping an eye on Nami through the camera. Then at night when Nami was getting work done in her dad's hotel, June comes there and tells her that he often comes there. She could not recognize him, because he was wearing a mask in the shop. He asks Nami for the most special drink here. Now because he was keeping an eye on her mobile, he finds out everything, what games Nami likes and what she is interested in, by which he impresses Nami, and now he also tells her about himself, that I work in a company, that does all the work related to software, computers and the internet. While both were talking, Nami's dad was also watching. At night, Nami falls asleep while talking to her friends, and the whole night June keeps checking her mobile, by which he had learned every information and secret about her, after which the next morning Nami comes to her office, she actually used to work in a company, there June sees the picture of the girl he had killed, which was none other than the one whose dead body was found in the jungle, after which he chooses his next prey, Nami, there Nami's boss comes to her, she says that our company has got a very big project, you are also doing a very good job. I am very happy with you. That's why I am doubling your salary. But you don't tell this to other colleagues. Now June had also heard all this. There the officer, that is June's dad, comes to his house and starts talking to his wife. But she doesn't tell him anything about June. Although he knows that June and his mom are in contact with each other and they keep talking. He then tells his wife that a girl has been killed in the city. I suspect June, and I know that you are in contact with him, because I heard you're in his conversation. Upon hearing this, she promptly responds, No, I don't believe it. My son can't do this. Why would he kill anyone? At the same time, the officer receives his friend's message. He says that he has found the location of June, that is, where he lives. There Nami was working on her project. She was very happy. While June goes to her house and starts checking all her things, in which he found Nami's second mobile, that is, she uses not one but two mobiles. There the officer's friend tells him that is the place I have told you about, the location of June, and it comes to know that he lives secretly there. The officer goes alone to find June. When he reaches there, 
he goes inside the house and starts searching everywhere he had also made pictures here he also finds out about the dead girl's mother in the meantime june had also come out he had already known that someone had entered the house that's why quietly when he walks inside he sees his dad there inside there his dad gets nail polish on the nails of the corpse from this he learns that his son June has done this murder. Now cleverly June calls his dad out of that room. And when he goes back inside, June has destroyed everything there. The proof, all the documents. June now goes back to Nami's hotel. And after meeting her dad, he also says the same thing. That he keeps coming here and asks for the best alcohol here. Seeing him. Nami's dad understands that he is lying. This is not our regular custom. He starts talking to Nami. And at night. When the father and daughter were going home, her dad tells Nami that June is a fake person. He is hiding something from us, because he has come to the hotel for the second time. He never came before that. I don't think he is right, so you stay away from him. On which she says, Dad, I don't think so. But okay, I will stay away from him. June has also heard their conversation. At night, Nami was with her friend. She tells her about June if he changes his appearance a little that is, makes his hair shorter and takes off his glasses, then he will look very cute. Her friend says that I also want to see him. Then Nami promises her that okay, I will introduce you to him. The officer comes and meets the dead girl's mother, where she tells him that my daughter's mobile had fallen somewhere. Then her screen broke, and my daughter found the mobile from a mobile shop, after which strange things started happening to her. Then someone killed her. Then he promises the girl's mother that you don't worry, we will surely find her killer. When Nami's dad comes out of his work, June attacks him and catches him. On the same night, the police get eight dead bodies from the jungle at the same time. Because of this, the officer gets very sad. Then in the morning, when Nami's eyes open, she sees that her boss has called her almost eight times. Along with that, she also gets a lot of messages on her mobile, which she has said a lot of bad things to her friends. In addition to this, she had also said a lot of bad things about her boss. There was also a post in which she told that her boss has doubled my salary. Then she goes to her office where her team was very angry with her. She tells everyone that I don't know who did all this, because I did not post, or send a single message. But no one believes her and tells her to get out of there. She also talks to her boss, but her boss has also removed her from the job. She also tries to explain a lot to her, that see, believe me, no post, no message, I did not do anything. I think someone has hacked my mobile. Someone is trapping me. That means someone is running my mobile in his control. So surely he must have done it. On which her boss tells her to prove it and pushes her out of there. She gets very sad about this. Then she goes to her friend's house and starts crying a lot after telling her about them all. When her friend gives her support, she takes care of her. June has also seen this. He thinks that Nami is very close to her friend. So she will have to remove first of all from the way. She and her friend go to the police station and tell about all this. Dot. Then the officer tells her that all this has happened to her online. That's the reason we can't assist you. Because whoever did this to you, we will not be able to catch him. Hearing this, her friend gets angry, after which they both leave from here. June was now staying at Nami's dad's house, because he had tied him there. He keeps messaging Nami by her mobile, so that she does not doubt that someone has come to kidnap my dad. They both then come to the hotel and start talking. She was thinking about who can do such a thing. She then talks that to find out about this, we need a person who is very good at computers and the internet. Now June had also come here for which Nami goes to take the juice, and he starts checking Nami Nami's phone with her friend. Then when she comes, June tells her that someone has hacked your mobile. That person has put such a software in your mobile through which your mobile has come under his control, and whatever you do will be found out by him, and he can run the mobile in his own way. Then he brings Nami out and tells her that someone closer might have done this, that one who also knows the password of your mobile. Because after opening the password, he must have done all this, and at that time, Nami's friend was secretly making their picture, which she finds very strange. Dot. When she comes to the hotel, her friend shows her a news, in which the police had to take eight dead bodies together. Now her friend notices that Nami is not talking to me. She asks her the reason why you are not listening to me. Your mood is also bad. What happened? Are you angry? Hearing this, Nami gets angry. She says that I doubt you. You must have done this to me, because only you know my password. Hearing this, 
Her friend feels very bad. She says that because of the boy Jun who came just now, you are doubting me okay. If you think so, then I will go away from you. After saying so much, she breaks her friendship with Nami and leaves. She was very sad. She was crying. And Jun also sees this thing. There, when the police were holding the corpses, their luggage is also checked. After seeing this, the officer was very upset. Then his friend says your son is doing this, we know. So we have to catch him and stop him soon. Because things have gone far. Then the officer says, first of all, you find that mobile shop where June works, on which her friend says yes, and they both leave there. Nami was sitting in the hotel and watching her and her friend's video. She was so sad and throws her phone. Due to this, the screen breaks again. There, the officer and his friend find June's mobile shop, but he had destroyed everything here. But through some papers, it is known about those eight customers, who were none other than those people, whose dead bodies they found. The officer says that I also know the details of the ninth girl who was going to die, and I got those details from June's house, so now we should save her. Hearing this, his friend says that we should broadcast this on the news as well, so that June can be caught as soon as possible. Now Nami also comes here. She had heard their conversation, and when she sees June's name there, she understands that no one else, but June has trapped me. He hacked my mobile and posted all those messages. Because of that, I am alone today. I don't even have a job, and my good friend has also left me. She calls on June's company, and from here it is known that no worker of this name works here. Hearing this, Nami gets very angry at June, and she decides that I will take her revenge. I will teach him a lesson. The officer had also heard these things, but he refrains from informing her that June is also a serial killer. That is, a murderer who has killed many people, but he just says that I also want to catch June. He is not a good boy. Nami gives an idea to them. So I will do this. I will call him home to meet him. I will also tell you. So come immediately to catch him. And the officers agree. On the next day, Nami's message goes to June. She calls him to meet him. While outside her house, both the police officers were waiting for June to come in the car. Now June changes his appearance according to Nami's wish. He cuts his hair takes off his glasses and goes to meet her. He reaches outside her house. Nami was getting ready in her house. When June was moving forward, both the police officers caught him. But looking at his face, they understand that this is not June, but someone else. Because due to changing his appearance, they could not recognize him. Now June threatens them that I will report against you, because I am innocent, and you are suspicious of me and pointing a gun. On which the officer's companion says, that they had a misunderstanding. We are looking for a murderer. Anyway, whoever it is, I will see you. After saying so much, he leaves from there. While both the officers come up and meet Nam, she tells them that her message has come. He says that I am busy today, I will meet you later. She then says that I am giving my mobile to repair. Till then I will use another mobile. And when I get my first mobile, we will catch him for which the officers also agree. The officer receives a call from the police station. Then an officer tells them that now everyone knows that all this murder was not done by anyone else, but by your son Ju. So from now on you will have to stay away from this house, so that you do not have any danger. Hearing this, he gets very worried. Now Nami takes out her second mobile and puts her sim in it, and turns it on and comes out. The officer tells her that your life is also in danger, so you also go to such a place where you can be safe. She says that I'll go to my dad's house, that will also be a good place for me, after which she goes with the officers to go there. When she reaches there, the officer gives her his car, on which she says that whatever happened, I will contact you and tell you, and goes inside the house. After coming inside, she starts calling her dad that I have come. Then when she was using her mobile in her room, then she gets a message from June's new number. When she calls him, the sound of the phone ringing was coming from this house. She gets shocked and immediately goes up and checks, but there was no one there. But she was still scared. That's why she starts calling the officer immediately. But then her mobile starts ringing on its own. She understood that June has also hacked this mobile. She starts worrying about her dad. So she was looking everywhere where she finds June. He says that if you want to see your dad a lot, then I am absolutely fine here. I am safe. So don't worry. We will meet after two days. Now even if she doesn't want, Nami does this message to save her dad's life. She asks him that what did I do to you? Why did you catch me? He says that I got your mobile from the bus. So that's why I chose you as my prey. Because it is obvious that through the mobile, 
I could know everything about you, so how could I leave you? She brings June to her dad in the bathroom. He was kept tied there, and he threatens to kill him. Nami says don't kill my dad. I am ready to do anything. After hearing this, June tells her to tie herself with tape. When Nami does this with its help, she leaves water in the tub to drown her dad. Nami was also seeing this. She starts crying after being sad. She was also saying bad things to June. He puts tape on her face to put her aside, and leaves her in the tub which was full of water. He was making pictures of her and laughing at her helpless. He comes out from there. He gets the officer's car. He wrote Nami, just call, no mess. But because he had sent a message to the officer, he came to know that June must have done this. So that means he was coming here to catch June. June also realizes that the officers have entered the house. He goes and catches the officer's companion. But his dad comes and catches him. But because he is not his son, he starts killing him. He asks about his son. Nami was about to die in the water. The officer's partner saves her from dying after bringing her out of the water. The officer beats him and injures him. He asks about his son. He says, Dad, I'm your son. The officer agrees, and he begins to laugh at him. He says how foolish are you that you do not even know your son. The officer gets angry and starts beating him again. Nami also came to her senses. She sees that the officer's partner is trying to bring her dad to his senses. But he is not getting up. The officer then checks June's bag, from which he gets all the items of June's prey. Even the luggage of the first prey, the zero number prey, which was actually none other than his son June. This killer has all the details of the officer's son and wife. The one who had disappeared seven years ago. Actually, he was not disappeared. Seven years ago, this killer killed him, and since then he has been killing people by identifying him as June. The officer is very sad to know this. That's why he goes to kill the killer with a gun. The killer tells him that I still talk to your wife as June. How innocent you are. You couldn't figure out that the one you're talking is your own son. That is the killer of your son, June. Nami also hears all this from him. She comes out of anger. She kills the killer by snatching the gun from the office. She sees that my dad has come to his senses. That means he is alive. Being emotional about this, she hugs her dad and cries. Then she is sent to the hospital by ambulance to be treated. From where the police were also collecting the things of all the dead. After some days, everyone comes to know about the kill. That he kills people through the internet. And now he has been killed. No more information can be found. When Nami was in the hotel with her dad and friends, someone was keeping an eye on her quiet, which she herself also sees. But she does not understand who he is. It may be a killer who may not have died, or it may be the officer's son, or maybe any third person who'll kill people after catching them online, by his own pleasure just like the kill. This movie story ends here with this suspenseful scene. Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel.